Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. No. Revenge. <laughs> you, always, you always say that. And it's like never awful. Oh, I, I know, I know. I it's exactly. I Dude, it's it. the same for you though. Yeah, it's like the, you, you, you do the whole fuck up thing by uh, like uh, sometimes, and it's like, well, luckily it's actually easy to fix. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here just like do it correctly. Everybody, money's way. I'm Jinzu. Dude. I'm sinking. And today we're back with what another episode about? of nine nine nine. I'm sinking about engineering and how und, this boat could be around around this time und, i tried engineering. Und das Maushausen. <laughs> last time we figured out our first puzzle it took a while and I we met all the cast of characters shut up while i'm talking about the episode <laughs> no hey jinzu i tried engineering uh i don't apparently have uh, engineering autism last time have, we met a bunch I do, of characters. but that's because i'm indian <laughs> <laughs> You were saying? Last time we met a bunch of characters, eight other ones, and one of them just so happened to be a close friend of ours, a childhood friend of ours. I wonder if she's important to the story. I um, bet she's the villain. I she's the, the villain. Titanic. I'm spoiling it. What? She's the villain. What? <laughs> we're literally the Titanic. And now we're back as we... Last time there was a alert, and now Lion is like, very well. First things <laughs> first, she's the villain. I actually, I actually don't know if that's spoilers or not. <laughs> lion's voice seem oddly loud in silence. The lion's The voice. sound of silence. <laughs> Standing here, I realize around here we won't do us any good. Best we could get moving, don't you think? I thought he had the funny old man voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it first. Yeah, moving. It... Akane. Who's Akane? Yo. Who? Yo. But who's Akane? Yo. Yo. It's either it's it. Do you want? Nothing much. What's Akane with you? Are you planning? You... Wait, was Akane? Wait, yeah, it's hilarious. Belly dancer girl? <laughs> no, that's main girl. Like and the, main. like yeah, Junpei's yeah. Junpei's waifu to be. Friend, uh, childhood friend. Yeah. Are you planning to open the number yours? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh, it was dancer, dancer girl. <laughs> hey, wait! Don't tell me you're actually going to do what this this zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. It continues the animation. Just... <laughs> as soon as I see a hot woman, I gotta drag up. The lion shook his head, mildly annoyed. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. Could I examine you? What? Huh? Dot, 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 dot. Ben, you. Oh, wait, that's not... <laughs> it's nine o'clock, nine There's ten. o'clock. There are separate investigations finished. All nine. I wish we did it's, the investigations. It's ten twenty. <laughs> All nine people returned to where they left one another. Our guy. The result of all their work was nothing. Great. That's, That's great. See you next Tuesday. They were completely sealed in. No, these comes out Thursday. <laughs> their hard work had not gone completely to waste, however. Oh, okay, so it wasn't nothing. They had learned a number of things as they scoured the parts of the ship they could reach. It seemed that they were confined to the deck A, decks A through C. But you all can be confined to my D deck. <laughs> C deck was as far down as they would be able to go, however. Uh, Gentoo, if you ever make me do another visual novel, by the way, I'll have. Uh, I'll make sure you have a personal meeting with God. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but I, the reason being, <laughs> what's your reason? That D deck was completely submerged. In your... <laughs> Strangely, however, the water had risen to no higher than D-Deck. The flow seemed to have stopped somehow, as evidenced by the surface of the water on D-Deck, which was as smooth as glass. It was! The prince knelt down and gently drew his hand across it. Get out! Perhaps the Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight sort of remote to seal a watertight door <laughs> lower down <laughs> to seal a watertight door <laughs> so that our time limit was nine hours 
We wasted eight. <laughs> we, we wasted we wasted eight hours looking for this fucking pool in the fucking D deck. We found it. <laughs> in, other, in other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. I call horse shit that they have not spent an hour looking. I feel like that is a weird connected dots in logic for the prince because it's random. Yeah. Oh, then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. Point to wishful thinking. No point to wishful thinking. Fuck. Point to wishful thinking. Point to Gryffindor. There were three metal doors on the sea deck. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. Slytherin's downstairs under the water. I said they drowned. A single door stood off to the side, with two more on the wall facing the central staircase. You know for a fact Hufflepuff would drown. (laughs) No. I'll save them! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I was gonna say, they gave Slytherin their room to be nice. And then Hufflepuff drowned. Yeah. We'll take the lower ones. We don't mind. Door. None of them had numbers or verification devices. I think it's got a lock. They were, however, locks like the other doors. <laughs> Wait till I, I narrate can't... it, bitch. <laughs> no matter how much they pushed and shoved, the doors refused to move. The mountain and the lion threw themselves against them a few times, but to no avail. Where is the witch in the wardrobe? The mountain, the lion, the bitch. <laughs> in the wardrobe. The door in the back had a keyhole. In the wardrobe. <laughs> the wardrobe. <laughs> wow. Just above it was a strange mark in the shape of a circle surrounding a dot. There's also, only... no... like an eye. Yeah. <laughs> There's only two outfits. <laughs> and one of them is nothing. <laughs> yeah, one of them is spaghetti. There were two other doors on sea deck as well, but it was clear that they were elevators, as each had a button next to it with an upside-down triangle. I love the observation of the narration. <laughs> they tried pushing the button. It's definitely something that Mayhem himself would not have noticed himself. <laughs> Nor he would he care to say. I man, said we... my line. Continue on. Man, we really should have hired the Hunter Hunter guy. Yeah, this guy sucked. <laughs> I'm trying my best, bitch. No response. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there was no power running to the elevators. To the left of the elevator doors was a car. Is that the voice you're going for, by the way? No. I've seen that symbol. <laughs> I've seen that symbol. The what does it mean? It means tree. It means. <laughs> <laughs> it, mean it means the horse. Dead. No, it means that she's pregnant. It's letter H. It, mean, it, mean, <laughs> it means you're gonna die. It means death. <laughs> the look on your face of. Understanding what the fuck I just said. The card reader also has a strange mark on it. It looked like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. What do you mean? Junpei stared at him for a while. Fuck! This this is the symbol of Saturn. It's in retrograde. (laughs) Nope, I'm skipping this bitch. (laughs) If you turn her into an uh, like one of those astrology people. I, I, I don't, 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 what do you, you mean? I'll kill you. She's being written that way. <laughs> I think that was the sun symbol. So we got Saturn and the sun. They had seen the same symbols on a deck. On a deck. <laughs> a deck. <laughs> there was a door on either side of the stairs. Uh huh. The one on the left hand had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. Oh! Those Earth? You yeah, shoot it! <laughs> this is the Earth symbol. I know because I'm the one who planted it. I mean, you guys will never guess the middle of bad daylight. You will never guess the main villain is. You'll never. You never, you never, never would have figured out this puzzle. <laughs> I am the one named Akane. The Set fact that her name is also very similar to Akari. The vertical one what? represents the prime meridian. What does that have to do with it? Akane and Akari are giving him the same voice. All oh, right. <laughs> What does that have to do with anything? Same voice. Oh. <laughs> so the her, so the equator and the prime meridian. Uh. Jumpy. Jumpy. <laughs> looked up. Junpei, Junpei looked up at the sea. Nope, just popcorn. Uh, it says gullible up there. <laughs> Imagine it literally just says oh, gullible. You took my liver. It was a great circle cut in it. Perhaps for a skylight or a glass go, but it's been filled in with a gargantuan metal plate. Who could eat, uh, eat off of it? <laughs> The metal looked very solid. Anything short of an explosive charge was unlikely to damage it. Uh, so anyway, uh, hey. guys, I got in my pocket. An iceberg? <laughs> <laughs> I've got in my pocket. An iceberg. 
There were several windows along the both sides of the ship, or at least there had been. There had been. There had been. There had been. What had been? They too were covered in metal plates. Who could eat off the walls? Yes. In other words, they were trapped. Oh, 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 All the exits go nowhere. Go nowhere. Junpei was not happy. <laughs> you could tell. The way he was trapped. The way he folded his arm showed how much of a little bitch he is. All the exits go nowhere. <laughs> the girl with the pink hair spoke up. Oh, hell yeah. Yay. Same voice. I'm sure they're going somewhere. We just can't open now. No. What? All girls sound Too the same. Too much. <laughs> I gotta give her some gruffness. Some harshness to her voice more than Why does the pink hair not get just a bit lighter? She looks like a gremlin. And she has headphones, so she can't hear herself talking. <laughs> Br make it lower pitch. There you go. Okay, let's No, see. no, make it like she's blending rocks. Then the mountain spoke. You don't know that for all we know. They just open up into walls or take us in circles. Stupid bitch. The prince did not agree. I think you, bitch. I think you're all idiots. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, why would we be here? It's like a movie uh, set. And we can open them. <laughs> well, two of them at least. <laughs> Five. Do we actually just spend about an hour here just talking about what to do with these doors? It's a visual <laughs> novel. You gotta. Well, people well, are gonna be talking about things before they do things. Well, we've been sitting here for 12 minutes and 15 seconds, so. <laughs> All eyes turns to the doors with double eyes. Yes, we fucking know. We could have done this so long ago. The atmosphere in the room grew tense. Dancer. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I think I said this earlier, <laughs> but I don't think we should do that. The dancer moved in front of the doors, as if to block them. <laughs> I'm going to every grab time, her by the hair and chuck her. Every, gonna... time, every time the day. <laughs> I roll to grab her hair and chuck her out of the way. I roll to grab her hair and... and do things. <laughs> 19! I'm going to chuck her. With consent! <laughs> every, every time the dancer fades into the screen. Hi. <laughs> We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. We do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. Or we drown. <laughs> Suddenly, everyone began to speak at once. Oh, hell yeah. I agree. I agree. No. I the agree. person in charge of the controls was an absolute... <laughs> I don't. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> everyone began to speak at, the same, at once. Okay. We should keep going. Oh, all mixed together. Got it. We should it. stay here. We don't have any other way to open any of these doors. We should just wait. Someone's bound to come find us. You know, on the ocean. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. So, it's been 20 minutes. The clamor... Oh. Kill him. It's only been 20 <laughs> minutes in their time. That's interesting. Sorry. The clamor of voices made it clear next to... Made it next to impossible to determine who was saying what. Their arguments grew more and more intense until people were shouting and screaming at one another. Don't I'm, you love this merry band of characters? <laughs> I'm so curious if it's going to be the uh, fucking uh, freeze of five minutes of nine hours. <laughs> Look For at this. Like... You know what's going to happen. Yeah. Don't be mad when it happens. You you should be expecting it to happen. I find it hilarious. I'm not <laughs> mad. I'm finding this whole hilarious. Jumpy, Jumpy. shut the fuck up. <laughs> Junpei had remained silent, but at last he could take it no more. Who are these three men talking in his head? You got to do the Lego City. Hey! <laughs> There's a man stuck in the Lego City River. Build the. There's the a man stuck on the uh, on the Lego City uh, Titanic. Build the iceberg. Hey! Shut up! Hey! <laughs> they fell silent, and all their eyes turned to Doomberg. He felt each stare burning into him, but he refused to flinch because no one tried to hit him. Before we try and decide where we're going to go. The, you better build the Lego City Bridge. There's something else build, we ought to do. Build the Lego City Police Department helicopter. What's that? Need to exchange it for me? Give me a number, bitch. We don't know anything about each other. Give those deets. What's your favorite color? I'm guessing pink. It's purple. Shit. I want to know who you guys are. When, where, who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Who are you? <laughs> Don't tell me you aren't curious, too. They were silent. 
This wasn't Tinder. <laughs> Some of them looked in the other way, or bit their lip, or crossed their arms and stared at the ceiling. I like how everybody did like the same motion, like an NPC in like a like a Bethesda game. <laughs> but one of them spoke up. It was Akane. Oh, I'm the villain. I, really, I, <laughs> I I feel like you guys should get closer and trust each other. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy. Oh. Jumpy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name's Junpei. She pointed towards Junpei. She pointed. She pointed towards the lion. <laughs> <laughs> We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school, and then I never saw him again. I'll punch you! <laughs> Stop! Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. <laughs> he said, "Shut up, bitch! I didn't you ask." Don't I don't watch this right now. <laughs> what are you gonna do? He's listening in. Well, well, she's already here, so. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be bad? Hell yeah, I would! <laughs> you know how much that bastard knows about us? Maybe he just picked up a bunch of randos people for kidnap. Remember? And as a case, it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. What are you, a cop or something? If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. He was in my house. <laughs> Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? Like suck his dick! Okay, we'll, do, we'll find <laughs> we'll find zero two. <laughs> Suck her dick. <laughs> but we still need to know what our names are. <laughs> I like how it got you for a second. Just, what do I say now? <laughs> I like how this mountain dude is like, no, we can't let him find out stuff as if this person doesn't already know everything about each person. Yeah, they, they know where we probably, live. Probably trailed them for literal days, if not months. <laughs> Didn't learn their schedule. We're going after you. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have any names. All right. You convinced me. <laughs> well, we have code names. To him, apparently, it seemed like the obvious solution. Code names? Yeah, I'll be Stealth Black. I'll be Terry. Something completely different from my actual name, Jerry. I'll be Seven. Seven? Why? Why are you seven? I'm seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed to be a fair. It seemed a fair question. The mountain stuck out his left arm. <laughs> Look how ripped I am! Oh, uh, <laughs> he has a middle finger popped up. <laughs> I gotta make that a short. <laughs> Cause his bracelet number says seven. Duke, you're short. Hey, Silver. <laughs> Oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, he smirked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to be Santa. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be St. Nicholas. I'm going to be Santa Claus. Click on it for a minute. Fuck. I'm going to be Santa Claus. Any of you Trumps know Japanese? No? Well, San means three, so I'll be Santa. Hell yeah. The average weeaboo be like. <laughs> Yo. You know, like Santa Claus. Fins, don't you think? <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Then your bracelet number. Oh, fucking man. Yeah, it's got a three. Good job, Grandpa. I can read. Just like the mountain had done, Silver thrust out his left hand. Sure enough, the face of his bracelet read three. Okay. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. So I'll be Ichigo from Bleach. <laughs> Even that, I think Ace seems appropriate. <gasps> I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know it has eight petals. Trivia I... with 999. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is four. Oh my god, she's showing me her wrist! Hot <laughs> um. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. Snake! Because it has zero legs. Dun 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 dun! Two. My bracelet number is two. Where'd you Since get that? Ace has chosen cards and I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly, which is. What my eyes are. <laughs> I yes. wonder if he opens his eyes and if he has snake eyes. 
So the obvious thing, obvious. Oh, thing. he's blind. I missed that little part. Blind? Really? <laughs> he opens his eyes. He's got snake eyes. No, he's blind. Oh. oh. <laughs> he kept his eyes closed. You're a him. dick. <laughs> Mayhem proceeds to make fun of the blind. Not a new, <laughs> not a new occurrence. Not at all. <laughs> he kept his eyes closed during their entire ordeal, which he has suggested something strange, but to hear it said so casually. Weird. Like thirty minutes ago, you were making fun of the deaf. Yeah. <laughs> Can't hear shit. It was something of a surprise. Everyone seemed a little nervous at the prince's proclamation, but no one seemed to know how to react to it. Do you guys get it? It's because I don't have eyes, so I should be eyes. <laughs> Those videos are just like, oh, this is for the deaf people, and just like the text of like, I'm so sorry for not bringing this up sooner. It's like, fucking loser, you can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the text says, this is for the blind people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Meanwhile, this is for the deaf people. <laughs> and it's only like someone talking. I know that you guys are going through the rough time. <laughs> there was one person, however, who didn't seem to be surprised in the least. The girl with pink hair. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, so they know each other. I want to be Clover. Oh, wait. I want to be Clover. Four leaf Clover. You know, like a four leaf Clover. Good luck, right? Because my number is three. Looking bored, she held out her left hand. <laughs> Anytime any of the female characters move, you're like your nose into the, the huge whiff. The face of a bracelet showed the number four. They'd come around to Jude Pay. Just like it's number four, just like my age. Ah! <laughs> he held out his bracelet. Five. Gold. My. So my code oh, name is going to be Goku. <laughs> my code name is going to be because I got five. Golden ring. Well, I have one. <laughs> well, I have a nickname. It's not like there's any point to it now. That's Fuck a, you. That's a dancer. Dancer, you're a bitch. <laughs> the dancer cut him off mid sentence Stupid Lotus. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Uh, bitch. Uh, 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 uh. They all know. You're lucky that all I see right now are your tits. Otherwise, I'd be real mad right now. I'm just now, <laughs> now I'm just imagining, you know, like the pinhole, like zoom in in old old cartoons. Yeah. When like someone like looks at something. Clearly, that's <laughs> all I see. Yes. <laughs> Akane stepped forward nervously. You're lucky I can't read that text. <laughs> then you should call me by my name too, so you guys can you trust me. like a completely fake name. <laughs> George! <laughs> Zero! <laughs> Zero! <laughs> Murderer John! <laughs> because, I mean, it doesn't seem... My name's Jack the Ripper! It doesn't seem Not fair to Jumpy. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. To Humpy? Let me at that was Curly. Mountain is Curly. Oh. Now Silver. Santa. It's no use! <laughs> it's no use! You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his? <laughs> Akane fidgeted awkwardly. As you can tell, Junpei decided he had to do something. What's your bracelet number? It's six. I'll call you Satan. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> she hesitated for a moment, then held out her left hand. Oh, what the definite villain has the six? What? <laughs> no, I'm saying owl with the um with the bracelet being over her wrist, ri like, <laughs> but like her clothes. That means like like she can't move her shirt, so it's probably like uncomfortably large. Yeah, hide it. Why would you hide I'm, it? I'm wondering if that's maybe the point. Ah, but they don't. They didn't. They can't move it. Yeah, but like covering it with the one you that's could over cover the it though. Yeah. yeah, you can, but what's the point? Because she they're, doesn't they're, want they're, you to know. Who, who, because she's actually number nine! Fuck? <laughs> Wait, fuck, yeah, goddammit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. As I hate this game. <laughs> as she claimed the bracelet's face showed a six. Junpei so looked at it for a stupid at the same time. <laughs> that's, that's why I love this game right now. It's so stupid and smart. Jumpy looked at it for, for a, a moment, moment and, and thought, thought, fuck you. Oh, wait, then why don't we call you June? June. June and Junpei. Almost like K I S S I N G. June and Junpei. June? Sitting in a plot. I N G. P L O T T I N G. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's the sixth month of the year. 
So you're June. Bag. Can't be. <laughs> Akane kneaded her hands and looked up at Junpei, uncertain. He smiled back at her, reassuring. Oh, God, Are you good with that? Duke, Are you good? Duke, do not smile like that. Uh, it looks painful. Excuse me. Are you good? She thought about it a few more minutes, looked at Junpei, threw up, <laughs> then seemed to come to a decision. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? <laughs> Give Junpei a small dog. Just get a smile on your face. Ah. The names decided Junpei ran them over quickly in his head. One was Ace. Hello! Two was Snake. Introduce yourself as Snake. With your Snake voice. I should just give me... I should just give me... <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> snake, yeah. Three was Santa. Cool guy voice. Ho, ho, ho. I'm, I'm Santa. I'm Sonic. I'm kissing a human woman. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Four was Clover. Hello! Five was Junpei's number. Oh. We didn't... <laughs> Why did it show Junpei? Akane Not was six, and Junpei had given her the code date of June. Uh, I'd be killing. Oh. Seven was seven. Because uh, he has no imagination. Where's Curly? And eight was Lotus. I'm a bitch. <laughs> that meant the eight of them, including Junpei, had revealed their bracelet numbers. But there was still one person left. <laughs> he was the man with the glasses and hair like a bird's nest. He hadn't said anything since they met on the stairs. And he didn't look like the sort of person who is inclined to conversation. That means I he's wonder who suspicious. dies first. <laughs> his skin was pale, his breathing was heavy, and he was soaked with a nervous sweat. He smelled <laughs> good. <laughs> he looks unimportant. I bet he died. Jinzu, e now it's no longer women. Equal <laughs> sniffing rights. I want to sniff everyone. <laughs> his behavior seemed very suspicious, or perhaps simply un emotionally unstable. He, <laughs> he then flew in a panic wielding knives like a crazy windstorm and began killing everyone. <laughs> it was difficult Goodbye, to- Goodbye, Jojo! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the case, it seemed clear that he only had only fingertips worth of a grip on his sanity. The girl with the pink hair, Clover, walked up to him slowly. She put her hands on his- on hand on her hips and eyed him suspiciously. <laughs> hands on- on his hips. <laughs> she began to say, that's, that's what started, my brain is keeps doing that. And started hey, giving him the most that. fiercest back shots I'd ever seen a girl give a man. <laughs> <laughs> ching, 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 ching. I just love this image right here. Just like, are you going to be like, not kill us in our sleep? And he's like, oh, oh. Mr. Bean. <laughs> when am I you? He didn't answer. His bloodshot eyes twitched from person to person. And his breath came in hot pants. My favorite kind of pants. Jeans! <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you! <laughs> the man licked his dry lips with a shaking tongue and spoke with a voice like old paper. Don't actually do it, dude. <laughs> oh, I gotta have a glass of that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta read it. <laughs> is, is it all obvious when I people here? Hey, you know who numbers one? The radar. I'm the only one left. Twenty-nine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, oh, okay, and just walks away. Yeah. <laughs> he extended a trembling arm. Nine. The bracelet didn't seem to say nine, but if he turns it over, it's six. Yeah, he's actually six. Over looked at it contemptuously. What's your good name? name. <laughs> What do you want us to call you? <laughs> Never. We, we all made up names. You should do. Everybody's watching you. Make a decision. Everyone's very uncomfortable. We called your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, they're coming. Uh, I don't need one. <laughs> God. I'm not going to stay here with you. Oh, so you saying I'm ugly? <laughs> yeah, yes. He took a shuddering breath and exhaled. Bover looked at him with something very, very like disgust. Deserved. Fuck you! You got some sort of plan? I, 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 I do. Yeah, what's it? You, 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 you sure you, you, 
one, but no. I take this knife and I slit your throat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, all right. Let me show, show you. Huh. I, I'm gonna do this. Wait, you, you gotta do it. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Aye! Ah. By the time they realized what he was doing, I was right. What a lovely couple. It was too late to stop. <laughs> the average <laughs> YouTube couple be oh, like, God. This is my girlfriend! I, and today <laughs> is Star Wars Day, as well as my birthday! So today, I'm showing you guys my girlfriend! Not just that, it's an unboxing video! She's the box! Now let's open up her stomach! <laughs> By the time they realized what he was doing, it was too late to stop him. The man's body moved like a snake's. <gasps> like snake! <gasps> In the blink of an eye, he had slid her around behind her and wrapped his arm around her waist. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? What the heck is going on, E? Silver Santa. Silver Santa? Leapt forward towards Clover and the ninth man. The ninth man! <laughs> he was halfway there when... Stay back! S stay back! Suddenly, the man's hand dove into his pocket. Ah! He had a knife. It is an unboxing video. <laughs> he, he came back out with a knife. Uh, how do you guys like our first unboxing video? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> a pocket knife. He held it to Clover's pale, quivering. If you get any closer, I'll, I'll open. Look at her face, I just realized. Uh -huh. <laughs> Santa skidded to a halt. He saw that the scrawny man with the knife and gritted his teeth. That's right. <laughs> just. Santa just absolutely being like, <laughs> just rabbit dog on the floor now. Yeah, the man's smile was neither friendly nor reassuring. Sweat poured down his neck, soaking the collar of his shirt. He's stinky. Clover, are you <laughs> all right? No, I'm left. Clover, the prince snakes. I'm voice snake. Fuck. Sounded oddly concerned. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Her voice shook, making her war words even less convincing. What the hell are you trying to do? <laughs> I told you! This is my plan! You're like an out of breath meatwad. <laughs> <laughs> out of breath what? Meatwad. What the fuck is a meatwad? Meatwad. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Seven. Curly! Mountain! Oh, what are you gonna do now? You sick son of a bitch! Yes, that's why I had to hear you say that. <laughs> don't, don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything here. She made me in his whole name, bitch. <laughs> if, she just got, if she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. He started to move backward, slowly, keeping his grip on cloak. You're gonna watch my anime edits. <laughs> They're off Jujutsu Kaisen! Keep it, keeping their distance, Junpei and the others follow. Eventually, the man reached the wall. He gave a start as his back touched it, then glanced around quickly and spoke. <laughs> Verify! Huh? The lift! Look at your lift! You see the device on the wall? Fake it. Put your hand on the scanner, battle, and the rampart. What did I do? The man's nostrils flared and he looked like he was about to choke. <laughs> Are you an idiot? What do you think? Come on! I could slit your throat right now! I'll kill you if I have to! That's hot! <laughs> oh, I found a freaking one, fuck. All I need is your bracelet! Let's do it! No, no! no. <laughs> <laughs> he pressed the knife against Clover's neck hard. Slowly, she stretched her left hand out towards the device. Church! Her back was to it, and she had to feel around for a moment before she found the circular path. That does not look like a backwards grip. It made a cold electronic noise, and on the display above her hand, an asterisk appeared. Hey. So that's how it works, Junpei thought to himself. By placing one's palm on what the ninth man had called the scanner panel, the user's bracelet number would be entered into the device. Ah! Uh, zero. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets? And find what the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door. The, the door thing that open. would be the number of the thing that you would be doing. <laughs> <laughs> the way that they describe things in this game. 
You were saying, dude? <laughs> I said that Jumbi shifted his eyes to the door itself. <laughs> to the door itself. Five. The number on it was five. <laughs> the ninth man seemed to know a little more about the device's operation than he should. How, he, how had he known exactly what to do? Good, good, you're done. Na, 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 next. His bloodshot eyes crept from person to person until finally they stopped on the line. Ace. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes, I am, so. <laughs> and, and, and you're next. Just verify your number like this brat did. Where'd you got me? She steps on his foot and he like drops her. She just runs away. Hmm. Where are you doing? D -d Do it! Just ki kill the little bastard. See if I care. <laughs> Don't you care what happens to her? Not really. Okay, okay. Just calm down. Ace held up his hands, palms out. Mom's spaghetti. I was about to say it, goddammit. The ninth man jerked his chin towards the device. Slowly. He jerked his chin. Cautiously, Ace moved toward. He jerked his. He jerked his chin. Yep. Ace Slowly. moves towards the device. Uh, after what seemed like an agonizing eternity, <laughs> he reached it. Just like this game! Yeah. <laughs> Verify. Ace started and placed his hand on the scanner pad. Don't have a fucking little <laughs> for every one of them. The device beat the Well, no, you gotta make the number five, and she has four, so she, and he has one, so they made five. The, the device beat the again. The devil's in the details. And a second asterisk appeared. Now the device had Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and one. Four plus one equals five. Welcome to third grade math. Mayhem failed. The nest... The same as the door written on the door. The number written on the door. The door written on the number. I, as I just said. <laughs> but it wouldn't yet just open. It wouldn't open just yet. Hey! Only three to five people can pass through one number door. Jinzu, you take this voice. <laughs> <laughs> Why no. me? The door needed at least one more person. The number of awful voices you do and you criticize mine, go fuck yourself. <laughs> the fact that it's... <laughs> I was aiming for the fucking puppet dude, Jigsaw. I like to play a game. Get, 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 get back! See, there you go, that works. His voice shook, but the knife held at Clover's throat made his words a command. Ace took two, then three steps back. One, two, three. No, further. Four. One that. Five. Go all the way back. Six. Seven. Slowly, Ace did what he was told. Yes. The ninth man's lips curled into a cruel, twisted smile. That was when Junpei understood his plan. Five. Clover's four and Ace's one. Added to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine equals fourteen. Equals four. One plus four equals five. Ah. Uh, in other words. <laughs> Thank God you were all so com cooperative. <laughs> I know that you were doing that for the joke, but that was like perfectly, like a perfect guess right there. Now we can get out of this n nightmare. Get me through this oh, nightmare. Oh, I can handle it now, by the way. No. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you are probably perfect for this. Yes. Yeah. He pressed his own hand against the scanner pen. I'm glad you understand. <laughs> a third asterisk appeared on the screen. He dropped his hand to the lever on the side of the device and pulled. Fuck with him. Throw your uh, hand. Oh! 3D effects on the DS. Holy shit! The door opened with a what heavy metallic rope. 3 It's because it's not. But you it is 3D cloak. on the DS. Therefore, it's the 3DS. He stop it, Jinsu. <laughs> Wait. Junpei leapt through toward the ninth man, but he wasn't fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> the man shoved Clover. <laughs> <laughs> And hop through the door. Let's see how he dies. <laughs> Hi. Okay, have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye. He raised his hand and waved, a twisted smirk on his face. Then he was gone. Whoa! It's the reverse animation of what we literally just saw. That's what I like to see, baby. <laughs> That's reusing assets. <laughs> the door ground shut with a dull clang of metal on metal. It was hot. Clover, yeah. are you alright? Colonel. <laughs> Colonel. <laughs> Snake ran over to Clover's side as she lay on the floor. I thought he was blind. 
Yeah, I'm fine. How'd you find me? Uh, <laughs> she climbed unsteadily to her feet, and once there, <laughs> leaned heavily on Snake's shoulder for support. You said you were blind! Junpei ran to the I door. lied. I lied. <laughs> the others followed him. Uh. Several pair, pairs of hands grabbed hold of the handles and pulled. They grunted and strained, but the orgy had to stop. She. She. <laughs> oh, bud. That was when Lotus, the dancer, spoke. Her voice was quiet. Mean girl. Hear something? <laughs> you could do a mean girl voice. Did you hear Did something? Did you hear something? <laughs> like what? Like some sort of beeping? Oh, it's this bomb I found. Junpei pressed his ear against the cold metal of the door. The others did the same. Is there a bomb on the opposite side that's going to blow his ass up? You're right. I can hear too. There is. But it's not anywhere. Just. <laughs> oh, oh. Santa. What is it? What is it? <laughs> what is it? Ho, ho, ho. What is it? Then they heard something else. It was the ninth man. <laughs> Fuck! That's not what he said. Why is it? It's stopping. That's not what he said. <laughs> he totally said it. <laughs> God damn it! There you Fuck! Go. You lied. You lie. Lied? Like a dog? This wasn't supposed to happen. This is wrong. This is wrong. His voice shook with fear. Safe on the outside, they stepped back to the door and looked at one another. What's happening in there? Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Please! Open the door! I'm begging you! Open the door! Help me! Please get me in here! Get me in here! Open the door! Junpei grabbed hold of the device. Engaged! We are married! <laughs> <laughs> he slammed his head on the scanner panel. Nothing happened. Why didn't it register? He looked at the display where the asterisk had showed up. It said, Engaged! Oh my god, oh my god, there's no time left. I can't open you. Oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> he lied to me. He put me in here. It was him. He killed me. It was him. I don't know, he seemed pretty alive. Uh, uh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, man! <laughs> <laughs> I love how we're laughing at this man literally dying. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, dot, who dot, would dot. be sad about his death? Oh, you know. The explosion rocked the room. Instinctively, they ducked, then stood up slowly when they realized there was no danger. No one spoke. Silence filled the room. You could almost count how much silence there was. There was a palpable sound with each silence. <laughs> In that silence, the electronic tone that echoed across the room sounded as low, loud as a gunshot. Like an explosion. All eyes turned toward him. <laughs> Vacant. It had come from the device mounted. It should say divorced. <laughs> divorced. It had come from the device mounted next to the door. The display changed from engaged to vacant. <laughs> the, the display changed from uh, engaged to complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. Let's see if we can open it. Seven, the mountain, swallowed hard. Gulp? Junpei nodded and placed his hand on the scanner panel. Need it? A red asterisk appeared on the LCD panel. The device had registered Junpei's bracelet number, five. It was not enough, however. At least two more people would need it. Junpei asked, Which bear? Uh, okay, five and one and No, eight. I get it now because I have the mouse. Yeah. What is it? Okay. So five plus one plus eight would be... 14, so it's that one. But also, oh, yeah, it could be any of these, right? I'm guessing that's the goal of just, like, yeah, 8 plus 6 would be 14, so, yeah. So, it'd be same here, like, plus 9. Oh, yeah. oh, ooh, oh okay. Ooh, so, you ooh, could this, use this, any. This is when this is when you choose the route, the different route of which ooh. characters you go with. <laughs> so, which one are you going with? You want to okay. go with Santa and June? Okay, so I'm... Snake and Seven. I'm Junpei. Uh, I voice <laughs> Lotus... <laughs> Uh, uh, just so I'm not boobies. I'm not going to pick Ace and Lotus. Oh, even though I really do want to see Lotus. Oh, old man and hot boobs. Yeah, I really want to, but uh Jinzu, I want you to voice somebody, so <laughs> uh Snake and Seven. So you would do you would do Santa and June. Yeah, it would be Santa and June. 
That's Anna and June. Yeah, so probably the main story. <laughs> but I'm Snake, and then... I'm June. And then he's Junpei. Yeah. So three people of us. Oh. That's what he was going for. I was going to click it. It's a point and click adventure. <laughs> Shut up, read. Santa and June, you think you could give me a hand here? The pun was a little too on the nose, but wait. But the mood was still grim. But the mood was still grim. What's the pun? Hand. Oh. Uh, give me a hand here. Hand. I'll give their hands in marriage. Both Santa and June lifted their left hands silently. We do, we do. He ver, he verified, <laughs> and she followed suit. Five plus three plus six equals fourteen. Equals one plus four equals five. They fulfilled the conditions. You're learning math. Yeah, the, yeah, that's what this is all building up to. <laughs> this is why the entire time it was not that like Jinzu wanted us to play this fun game. No. He just finally wanted you to get back to math class. I need to learn it. Jinzu they... takes off a mask. It was your math teacher the whole time. Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> I like you were about. It sounded like you were about to say a name. Mrs. <laughs> no. If they were to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. What kind of plot is this? Junpei grabbed the lever and looked back over his shoulder. They stiffened and nodded. Junpei nodded back and set his mouth in a grim line. They nodded, and they kept nodding. Then he slowly nodded. Lowered the lever. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Did same animation! There was a metal groan, and the door slid open. A breath of air drifted out of it, carrying a stench that nearly made them gasp. Junpei gr grimaced. He's now a big purple monster, and put his hand over his mouth. That's how I'm going to imagine Junpei now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> Good god! Notice an ace shutter. She's, are we gonna see a dead body? Seven grunted. Wow, that's pretty fucked. Even Santa's voice shook. <laughs> he blew up. <laughs> <laughs> it appeared that Santa was right. The hallway on the other side of the door was splattered with chunks of torn flesh and dark red blood. Jesus Can Christ! Can I see it? No! Ah! Uh, no, that was the scream, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh! the, shriek, <laughs> the shriek echoed across the room. It had come from June. Then her strength left him. Her strength left her and she dropped. As Junpei turned to catch her, the door groaned shut. Aye. Well, that sucks. <laughs> it felt like a terrible carnival ride. Look at this! Your time is up. She now look at this. <laughs> the dead guy. <laughs> she crumbled to the floor. June, you okay? Fuck, no, I'm not! Junpei dropped to his knees and put his arm around her shoulder. Oh, we got a jacket! We look Canadian as Marty hell. Marty McFly, baby. That was when he noticed. Her whole body was feverish. She was Marty McCanadian. She was radiating pure uranium. <laughs> what the hell, where'd this fever come from? <laughs> June didn't answer. Her face looked like wax, and her whole body began to shake. At this rate, we'll just uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? That is not what he said at first. <laughs> no, he didn't. Why the fuck did I say at this rate? What? All it's right. It's not just me. You think you can walk? No. You're gonna have to carry me. Junji wants the puzzle. She nodded weakly. I want the puzzle that takes us an hour. The Junpei lifted Jude to her <laughs> and guided her to a nearby chair. It's like reading a book. It doesn't all happen at once. Here we go. As gently as he could, he set her down in it. Actually, the puzzle was, who are we going to choose that, to make it the correct answer? Are we going to make you do this stuff? Why not? Huh? If you're going to make me do this stuff, why not Doki Doki Literature Club? Because, because Doki Doki Literature Club is straight dating until it's not. <laughs> And until, that's like straight until dating. having to censor that scene. It's like straight dating for like four hours, and then it's like the rest of the game. <laughs> did I buy it? I think I did buy it. Why would you buy it? It was on sale. Yeah, I got it for free. Free, free game. Oh, it is free. Okay. No, it was fifteen dollars. But then there was a free time that period that was on. Read your lines. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you all right? <laughs> she not. She nodded, and as she did, a single huge tear rolled down the side of her face. Why? Why did this happen? 
He wasn't supposed to explode yet. It's because you suck. <laughs> Your voice cracked, broken by misery and grief, and choked by sobs. It's because you suck. Ah. Why did this happen? Jude Pace swung around, spun around three times. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Jude. <laughs> It's all your fault. <laughs> Do any of we you know, know what the you. fuck is going on here? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Who's zero? What's the notary game? You the don't. notary game. You're learning it, you idiot. Come on, anybody? Anything? Anybody, everybody, anybody, scream. What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? Who are you? What's your family? No one spoke. Ace, Snake, Santa, Clover, Seven, and Lotus. What are these names? What the hell? They simply stood there. Seven of their downcast eyes and seven grim lines from us. Oh yeah, we got Lion Ace. Oh, never mind. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> June's body shook with silent sobs. She what, was shooketh. What, what were you going to say? I was going to list off the names. I don't know. Anyway, Ace. <laughs> they slowed and as minutes ticked by and eventually they stopped. <laughs> Credits roll. It's the end of the game. <laughs> then suddenly, in the cold, heavy silence that had enveloped them like a thick fog, a bell began to ring. Dinner time. The clock in the central hall. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten times. And then, on the tenth ring, it stopped. The sound of the bell faded away into silence. So we spent an hour thinking about what to do. It's ten o'clock, then. I gotta head to bed for the early bird special. Ace was say they said what each of them had been thinking. I mean, it's been an hour since Zero's announcement. That looks like this game is called Eight Hours, Eight People <laughs> and Nine Doors. <laughs> oh my god, if we start like naming each episode when everybody dies from nine to eight. <laughs> <laughs> Seven's deep voice echoed across the room. Duh! <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of this crap. I've had enough I'm of this gonna crap. kill myself. Okay, <laughs> game. Oh, I'm so, going to commit a crime. I'm going to threaten death. I'm going to threaten <laughs> my, with my annoyance. <laughs> Santa leapt to his feet. His fist clenched. How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until the time limit. Zero is going is about to go up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get dying already! Go, go! <laughs> he then fell down the stairs, cracking and breaking his neck. <laughs> Santa's outburst fell on deaf ears. Seven hours, seven persons. <laughs> <laughs> no one seemed to agree with him. They stared back at him, their eyes blink and their faces tired. Finally, Lotus spoke. You fucking idiot! He tripped over Clover. Six hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we can't do that one! No, I refuse. I oh shit, I just realized so far. Yeah. I'm not going to end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Nine man? Uh, yeah. Who else? Uh, yeah, yeah. In his mind's eye, Junpei saw the corpse again. The dark, reddish, black pool of blood. Show the corpse. Show the corpse. The scattered pieces Show of flesh. the corpse. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Or gets strewn across some the floor it. like a blossoming of the grotesque flower. Actually, I think I've used that blood splatter before. <laughs> it wasn't the right color, though. The explosion that had torn through his body had been powerful. The ninth, <laughs> the ninth man's neck had been twisted in an odd angle. Junpei suspected the detonation had thrown him against the wall. It was the watch! The watch blew him up. Half of his face was crushed, and the other half was covered in blood. Most of his abdomen had been emptied, either by the explosion or by gravity. You know, that pesky thing. He had landed on his back, and stark white ribs jutted out from his chest, like the legs of some sort of macabre crab. Junpei felt something flip in his stomach. What I thumbnail? What, yeah, just... yeah, I'm flipping, <laughs> what thumbnail was it that I used that blood splatter on? I think it was, funny enough, the, uh, the Android 13 video. <laughs> Like, I was recreating, basically, the logo to make it say review and yeah. stuff and stuff like that. Uh, and so I found that blood splatter and just basically shrank it as low as possible oh, okay. to stretch across across the thing. Santa! 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 
I think he just screwed up. Just a I, little bit. Eyebrows went up and Santa home, continued. Santa, Santa he probably three. set up some sort of trap and that killed him. I'm not going to screw up like that. I'm, I'm just not going to rush be ahead. <laughs> I'm getting out of here alive. Wow. Said the next person who was going to die. Snake. <laughs> <laughs> it kept you waiting, huh? Whatever Snake was laughing at, Santa did not find particularly humorous. What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just so very confident. <laughs> I don't want to do the snake voice. I couldn't help myself. That's okay. <laughs> what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death it had nothing to do with a trap, or at least not the sort of trap you imagined it did. Then I... he broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Chastise yourself, Jinzu. Fulfill that fantasy. I'm blind and I'm making fun of you. You still don't. All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero... Think, Mark. Think. <laughs> said. And you got some weird fantasies if that's your fantasy. My only fantasy is being choked out by thighs. <laughs> Respect. I fantasized killing you. And dying, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he said only three through five people can Santa. pass through the number one door. Santa. Oh, shit. He said only three to five people can pass through the, the through one number door, right? And after that, you've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? Forgot the most important part. Santa, <laughs> Santa furled his brown thought, furiously chastising himself with his voice. <laughs> Junpei thought that. Zero said. That only two people could go through, that everyone who verified had to go, more than six people could go through. Everyone who verified had to go through? That's probably what it is. Is that what you select? Yes. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. Right? That? <laughs> I think it was something like that. Whatever it was. It means that groups of less than three or uh, more than six can't go. Five. Five. That's the number five. I see it. That How do you get your message? Correct. What did Main character. A gold star for you, Junpei. <laughs> <laughs> You see, like, a, there's, like, a huge star effect that comes in, and, like, a star, like, ding! Yeah. <laughs> I eat it. Snake and Clyde just head towards Jupiter. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He's a little He kid. tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because I'm not stupid like you. <laughs> because the execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Fun voice, right? Fun voice, right? <laughs> Snake looked at Seven with a, what could only be described as pity and sigh. Very well. He just looked, grabbed Snake him looked, slowly by the throat. Snake and looked. Lifts. The blind man looked. With what could only be described as pity. Very well, I see it must be me who tells you. I waited long enough, I suppose. I hope yeah, Zero might hour. spare me the trouble, but what? that seems increasingly unlikely. He couldn't see them, of course, but perhaps Snake sensed the confused eyes upon him. When they spoke, he gave words to everyone else's thoughts. The fuck are you talking about? Do you know something? Well, I know a lot of things, but yeah. I know approximate knowledge of many things. <laughs> I know that I can actually see and that you all believe that I can. Look. What is it, you know? <laughs> that would be, know that'd be a hilarious twist. Things. Here. Frank the human man. How did you almost know my name? <laughs> Snake removed a card from his pocket of, of his jacket. With the floors, he presented it to Ace, who took a close look at it and spoke. Come on now. What's the point of giving me this? You're nude. Give me that. <laughs> I want it. I want it. Santa snatched the card from Ace, but his expression of disgust quickly turned to one of confusion. This is Santa huh? the Hedgehog. <laughs> huh? 
this is this is Sonic and Shadow Furry Porn. Why did you? <laughs> this is Sonic X Shadow. <laughs> Why do you have this? You're blind. <laughs> Seven tugged it out of Santa. It's Santa. in Braille. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite page for my favorite fan fiction. It just it, it always gets me the the idea of just like. Oh, that must be so hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that must be so hot. Reading Braille with one hand. <laughs> it actually might be as harder than you think. Must be so hot. <laughs> Read your line. Ha! I see. <laughs> the card went from seven to Lotus, from Lotus to June, and finally to June. He looked at it and understood. This man is a fan of Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I was right, it's Braille. <laughs> yeah. Braille, the written language of the blind. The card was covered with small embossed bubbles. Junpei could recognize it, but he clearly couldn't read it. <laughs> Certainly he couldn't. Yeah, I can't read this shit. I have that. Junpei handed the card back to Snake, who nodded at him with a small stare. I just chuck it. Lotus. Okay, that was fun. I'll... What's so important about the card? Oh my god. I found it in this pocket. I found it on the floor. I can only assume it's a message from Zero. It just says the word bitch over and over again. (laughs) (laughs) From Zero? F-Zero? A message? What did you change? Suddenly, everyone was crowding around Snake, desperate to hear what the message said. Santa especially looked as if he were able to grab a hold of Snake and shake the answers from him. Snake raised his hand. Calm down now. Stop fucking shaking me. Get the fuck away from me. I can feel you. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. Wait, wait. Junpei swallowed hard and waited for him to start. I hate that that phrase has been used twice now. I would actually love if, like, you take a close peek at the a letter and you can actually read it. I thought this fucker was blind. He was not the only one. Braille. You know what Braille is, right, Jinsu? Yes, but I thought... Did, did they say it was in Braille? Yes! I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Whoops. They I popped was, it up. I was not Drop looking. your phone for five minutes. <laughs> I was not looking. Presently. Lady Snake began to read. His voice called. His fingers glided over the tiny bumps as he spoke. <laughs> Start speaking tongues. Sonic began to enter the room, and Shadow was there <laughs> naked for him. <laughs> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information. His hand blows up for telling him. <laughs> I, I shall tell you of the function of the red of the dead, and of the bracelet, and the redemption. <laughs> <laughs> the red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every numbered door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the numbered door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I'm afraid this may be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you. Uh, (laughs) Sorry, I have placed a small bomb inside of you. And the people whom you are about to meet What are we? Some kind of guardians of the galaxy? Some kind of exploding group of people? (laughs) That's why why his ribcage was... That's why Ninth Man's ribcage was jetted open. Yeah. Because it was from his tongue. From his tongue. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. Unfortunately, some of you pass things very fast. (laughs) You shit yourself in your sleep nine times. (laughs) (laughs) I have no doubt that that by the time you read this note, the bomb will have passed to your stomach found its way to your small intestines. I'm instantly going to the bathroom to get it out. In other words, you will be unable to regurgitate. I suggest you do not try. Five. As mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a detonator. Think of it as a remote fuse, or a timer, for the bomb inside your body. There's only one condition which will cause it to detonate. That condition is that you enter a numbered door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter whom you may you will have a 81 seconds. If after that time the detonator had not been activated, had not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. 
In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified the number at the red must also verify the numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you will need only pull the lever at its side, and the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. Red, dead, red, dead, dead, red, dead, red. You'll be dead and covered in the floor in red. That is to say, if you should pass through a numbered door without the first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds you will be dead. You must also keep in mind that the numbered doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. So long as the door is open, the dead will not function. You will, you would do well to remember this. Five. Wait, this is a braille letter being read out by Snake. But it's the main, but it's the narration voice. It, it bots. Everybody else has been in the other one. Lastly, let us discuss how Why to Why you read the braille in narrator voice? <laughs> you, you want to know what it sounds like? What? There are only two ways to do so. Because braille spoken is still English. <laughs> Anyways, Did you hear what I was joking about? Talking to Snake. Why does your braille voice sound like the narrator? <laughs> because everyone hears him. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or detects that the wearer's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. Oh, sick, I just need to fall asleep and then it just comes off. <laughs> I die when I fall asleep. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off or disable the detonator, the bomb within you will immediately explode. Quick, somebody do the anime shit of just reach your hand into my chest, stop my heart for a few seconds, and then we are, we're good. Alright, Star Platinum. <laughs> this is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If you use wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you for a time. You would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. Have fun. <laughs> and it explodes. Tee -hee. Tee -hee. It, the bomb explodes in 81 seconds. That nine times nine. Ain't that quacking crazy? Yeah. But we're going to be leaving this episode here, everybody. It's, no, continue. It's a moment. What? Why? Continue. Why? Go ahead. Why? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something you know? <laughs> No, I just, I, I want you to continue for just like a few minutes and pray to God something happens. But we got to make sure that we don't do that because then that's going to add more time. <laughs> I feel like we're going to learn about something, do something, and then something's going to happen. Which sounds like a great way to begin next episode. Yeah. And thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. We'll catch you next time. Anything to add, Jinsu? I, I might, I might be too right about the random bullshit that I say. <laughs> <laughs>